Welcome to today's sermon on our theme for the year, A New Beginning in God. Our focus is on becoming a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. God. Sacrifice isn't just about rituals or physical offerings. It's about surrendering our will to God's. From biblical examples like Abel to the widow's sacrificial giving, we see that God values our heart's sincerity. Join us as we explore what it truly means to be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus, our eternal hope of ages, our hearts are lifted up again today for the opportunity you are giving unto us, even to learn at your faith, accept our praises in Jesus' mighty name. As we go on with this world today, speak to us and give us listening ears in the mouth of Jesus. Let your word have a free course in the life of your people and let it also be glorified in the light of everyone. Father, we bless your name because you have been part of this meeting already. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Well, welcome to another time in the presence of uh, the Lord. And that the Lord will continue to bless us in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' mighty name. I want to advise you to be listening to this tape and uh, be, uh, be humble with your Bible. Be humble with your Bible. Pause your tape when you are listening to it to read the word and digest yourself. And that Lord will minister unto you in Jesus' uh, mighty name. Don't forget that. The theme of this year again is a new beginning in God. And the focus of this uh, teaching, which is the part two today, is becoming a living sacrifice only and acceptable unto God. And it's, it coincides with uh, our topic too, although it has some aspect to it, uh, subtopics. Becoming a living sacrifice only and accept, acceptable, acceptable to God, that's part two. Uh, remember that uh, in the first uh, part, we had an anchor scripture of 1 Peter chapter 2 and uh, verses 4 to 6 and verse 9. To whom coming as unto a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God and precious. He also, as lively stones, had built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer all spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. That says, Wherefore also it is contained in the scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Then verse 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, an holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness unto his marvelous life. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. So that is it. The, 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 the first sub theme of this discussion today is how to be a living sacrifice unto God. How do we present that? How to, do we become a living sacrifice unto, unto God? In the part one of this message, we looked at what, what uh, a sacrifice is. Then we looked at all those things that constitute sacrifice. We, we, we rounded off that teaching with the examples of uh, people that, that had sacrifices, a few of them anyway, that had sacrifice, acceptable sacrifices unto God. We talked about uh, uh, Isaac. So we talked about, uh, we, we talked about, we talked about Abraham. We talked about, Abraham. some of these, uh, some of these, uh, men, we know them too, you know, we know them. You know that they offer acceptable sacrifice. When, when we say sacrifice in this uh, in this uh, 
uh, context, we are we are we are saying that something that is bigger than what you ordinarily want to part with is bigger than what you ordinarily want to part with, and the Lord will give all the grace even to do that which is extraordinary uh, to God in Jesus' mighty name. Don't forget, we have the account of uh, uh, Cain and Abel. So how God, God himself said that he, he respects, he respects somebody for the sacrifice he has uh, offered. He respects he respect the offering, he, that is, he respects the sacrifice. He still respects the person of that, of that uh, person that uh, made the sacrifice. And that is Abel. Of course, two people sacrificing. That will tell us that uh, we have acceptable sacrifices and we also have unacceptable uh, sacrifices, such as that of uh, Abel is an acceptable uh, sacrifice, where that of uh, Cain is an unacceptable sacrifice. May the Lord continue to accept a lot of sacrifice in Jesus' mighty name. And this time around, this part two of the episode, we want to know how to be a living sacrifice unto God. How to be a living sacrifice unto God. That's the first thing that we will look at in this uh, episode. What is it? How? How can I? Somebody may be asking that question. How can I be? Or how can, how can I be a living sacrifice unto God? Let's look at uh, the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. The book of Romans uh, chapter 12 verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Any other service is unreasonable. From what that can be called from this uh, scripture, any other service is unreasonable. If you say that uh, we must present ourselves uh, but even, even, even by God, you know, by the mercy of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Let us, let us have uh, an analogy explained. In the contemporary world of, uh, in the contemporary world of uh, sacrifice, something that is clear to me is that once a sacrifice is offered, the life of that, that thing that is offered as sacrifice is gone. The life of that, even if it is good, of course, that part of the part of the reason that you know that the, the offering the, or the sacrifice as you are is that the the goat will have died. Maybe if it is burnt offering or whatever offering they want to make it, they burn it and every other thing follow. I want us to critically think of it. When we say a sacrifice. A sacrifice cannot be offered and still be living. A sacrifice in the contemporary world cannot be offered and at the same time be a living soul. No. That is, if it is a pigeon in the olden days, whatever thing that can be used as a sacrifice or maybe some concussion that are put together, put uh, palm oil, put all this uh, funny funny and strange things on it and go to present it at the corner point, of three corner point, whatever, of a major road, you cannot, you cannot find them alive. One of the qualities of a sacrifice is that the thing that is offered as a sacrifice is dead. Now, let us come to reasoning together. You like what? No, no, come. Let us reason together. And now, invite all of us to come. Let us reason it together. Why is God saying? Why? Why is the Paul the apostle? The scripture admonishing us, you know, to be a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice. Anytime you have a sacrifice, like I said, it, it is no longer living. Then why are we now saying that uh, our sermon presented as a living sacrifice? Yes, part of what we had in the first part of this uh, episode is that all the part of our body must be acceptable unto God. What we mean by that, by, by uh, a living sacrifice, is that uh, you have sacrificed your wish, you have sacrificed your interest, you have sacrificed your own love, you have, you have, you have sacrificed your emotion, 
you have sacrificed your intelligence unto God. That is, they are dead unto you, but they are alive unto God. That is the understanding that I want us to have of this uh, a living sacrifice. From the contem a contemporary world, is uh, an object cannot be offered as a sacrifice and still be living. Uh, one of the one of the qualities of a sacrifice is that that thing, that thing is dead upon being confirmed as a, sa a sacrifice. Especially when they will say that uh, the sacrifice has been accepted by those people uh, to whom uh, they are dedicated. Especially in the other side of the of the world, when they dedicate everything to certain uh, form of people, they will they say hey, they are very happy that uh, those sacrifices have been taken up or they have been eaten. Now, even if it is that, can they can can some sacrifice be eaten and still be sent? No, it means they are dead. Now, God is saying that we must present ourselves a living sacrifice. You know, a living sacrifice that means. You have sacrificed your own emotion. You have sacrificed your own time. You have sacrificed your own being. You have sacrificed your, your intellect. You have sacrificed even your money to God. That is, you, 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 you are dead unto all, the, all these things, but you are alive unto God. That is, you are, it, is not, it is no longer you that are using all those things. You have sacrificed them unto God. So you have set God. Take all these things and use them as you like. That is why we, that's how we can now refer to ourselves as a living sacrifice. That is, we are no longer living unto our own, unto our own life pattern. We are living unto the pattern of God. After we have surrendered all unto God, that it is now time for God to not dictate every step of our life. You don't allow any emotion to dictate your, your next your step again. You don't misbehave because of certain exposure, experience, or money, or connection that you have. It means you are not sold out unto Christ by the time you are doing that. You must, even any time you, you have that talk, you ask God, what is your wish for me? Even if you know that your money can buy the whole, the whole world, well, just, just ask from God, is it, is it your will for me to do? Do I go ahead? Just like David said, after, after if I, li I like the account of that uh, David. Uh, David that knew what, what, it, what, what it takes to get to the heart of God. In that particular situation, he behaved completely as a human being. When the, the enemies came, scattered away every, everything that they had. Not even that David had. That the whole town had, including the wife of uh, of uh, David. In that case, uh, but God, I know God is humorous. He was just looking at, he was just looking at David. By the time he now finished, I thought he now finished. God did not say sorry, sorry, but, uh, but, uh, no, uh, God did not say that. I, I guess God will have been laughing. That you have the key of my heart in your hand, and you are, you are, and you are with me. God allowed him to, to whip out his own life. And when, and when, 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 uh, when uh, David came back to himself, when he came back to himself, and the Bible said that, and David encouraged himself in the like, hey, that is it. He now encouraged himself in the Lord. That's where the, the, the heart now opened up. That's okay, God, God, God. Do I go? Do I pursue? Will I recover? Uh -huh. I, I believe my humorous father in God will say, uh -huh. you are not talking. That's okay, okay, okay. Go, pursue. And God now said, He didn't say you will recover her. God said, You will surely, surely. You see that, see that word, of, uh, word of affirmation. But after you have uh, done your own will, uh -huh. the will of God now, now came in. That's okay. God, what do I do? The same thing I want us to be living uh, as Christ. That is uh, living yourself as a as a living sacrifice unto unto God. By the time you are living to yourself, mm, he was crying and nobody was ready. I didn't see any any, any verse that said that somebody was consoling him. God allowed him to do all all those irrelevant things he wants to do. By the time he now came back to himself, when the spirit of God in him now manifested, he now he now. He now uh, he encouraged himself in the Lord. 
you know, encourage yourself in the Lord. That's that's something. Let me tell you, don't expect anybody to encourage you. Encourage yourself always in the Lord. People that may want to encourage you, they may encourage you based on their own exposure. They may encourage you based on what they have passed through. Have you not had it that when somebody has a problem, oh, don't worry, don't worry. I will take you to one baba. They will prepare this and con this concussion and that concussion. That is to the, you may not even blame that person. That is the that is the help that you can find in that particular person. And that's why I'm saying today, you must encourage yourself in the law. You must encourage yourself in the law. So I I I I was I was talking among my colleagues sometimes ago. I said I pity I pity those people that commit uh, suicide. And then let me tell you. It is very easy to commit suicide, although they, they pick me up. No, 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 no. I should not say, allow me to, allow me to say what I want to say. You see, the, the inability of the Spirit of God in the heart of that person made him to conclude the, 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 the decision to take his own life. I mean, except what to deceive ourselves. And I stand to be challenged. You know, you have my phone number, you have my WhatsApp number. At a point in time, we could have gotten to that junction. Oh God, what am I still doing in this uh, world? But the Spirit of God, depending on the quantum of the Spirit of God, we have allowed to be with us. Just like it happened in the case of Jesus. And angels come over him and they were consoling him. The same thing will happen. If, if, if not for God, Jesus will have said, mm, you don't do. I'm not going for this uh, work of salvation again. When the, when the problem when the problem became became too much, and angel were they were just they were just advising him. Don't forget, you said you are the one that said you do it. You, you do. It is the quantum of the spirit of God that made him to give their consolation a second a second consideration. If it's somebody that is not having the spirit of God, okay. Eh? If I commit suicide now, in the next five minutes I'll be no more. Uh -huh. Your Baku will say, what is, what is behind the offer is more than OJ. What be, is, you may be successful in killing yourself. What are the problems you create to those people that are your siblings, that are your parents, depending, even your co worker you, you, can see, uh, uh, you can see the embarrassment you give to them. You can see the money situation you give. To, you, you give so what you have to do, even when the road seems rough, is that encourage yourself in the Lord. Encourage yourself in the Lord. You can see so so many so many of these uh, evil things that are happening in this world. I I I, I in my process of uh, this uh, uh, counseling sometimes somebody said that uh, he's the one that says you follow him. I didn't tell me he didn't tell me where he was going to. And when we went out. We now discover that he they, they, was, was out on the arm robbery, uh, arm robbery uh, mission. Well, I can say it, it, it is possible, if it is, if, if it is true, if it, it is possible for your friend to, 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 to deceive you to that level. But let me tell you that even those people that are beaten by, by 419 whatever, they have element of greed in them. If they don't have element of greed in them, you will have you will have you will have uh, challenge some of these moves. Where are you going, my friend? Where are you taking me, me to? Well, okay, what are the things that will take a long? They don't worry, just for the ah, you have to be very careful. The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' uh, mighty name. So we we must live our life as a living sacrifice. We have explained what we mean by living sacrifice. That that is, you have you have. You have uh, you are no longer responding to yourself again. You are responding to how God wants you to run the affairs of your life. That is a living a living sacrifice. The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' uh, mighty name. Uh, our law, our our life as a living sacrifice is uh, one of those things we can do is to uh, give our life to kingdom investment and uh, endeavors. Anything that is of, of God, let us let us uh, engage in it. Prayer, you know, even evangelism, all these things that are things of the Lord. That's in line with uh, Matthew chapter 6 and verse uh, 33. 
The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' mighty name. But the paramount thing that I want to tell you in how to be a living sacrifice unto God is you must be your 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 self uh, uh, counselor. When you re, when you you rely on the counsel of people, you may miss it. And unfortunately, it may not be that the person wanted to uh, lead you astray. He might be leading you to the extent of the knowledge and the exposure that he has. And if the Spirit of God is not in you, how you discern that he doesn't know the way and is, uh, and is given way? When I was studying uh, salesmanship and further uh, marketing uh, those years, I read something as a case study that when you are in a, in a, in a strange in a strange town and you have some forward for direction, what to the extent of the knowledge of that place uh, he has, he will direct you. It might not be that he wanted to to mislead you. Well, when, for example, when you are in, uh, when you are with uh, uh, when you are in Lorry, for example. You are in Lauren, you are at uh, Gary Alimi. You are now saying, where, where, where is uh, Savoki? Where is Savoki? Somebody can, somebody at uh, Gary Alimi may say, to, go to your left. As if you are going to Lauren Shogu. But the issue is that it might not mean to deceive you. That's what came to his mind at, at that time that that is the way to, uh, to, to, your, to, 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 to your destination. It might not be. It might not be that one that will to mislead you. So that is why your own, your own personal relationship with God matters. God, I'm confused. Show me the way. Even if God will not come down, He cannot even come down by Himself. God will not come down. Somebody will just uh, emerge from somewhere and solve that problem. But that will not rely on the uh, yes. I will ask for people. I will ask for for my people. The people that you ask for. They, they may not intend to lead you astray, but they may they may direct you according to the to the uh, experience that to, to, to the thoughts that they have. Oh, some okay is around the, when you get to the real me, turn left. Whereas you can never get to your destination if you go if you are looking for some okay going through a lot of you. That's an example there, and it may not be that it, it may not be that one that will mislead you. That may just be the picture of where he, he, he has as a sample king. The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' uh, mighty name. So we must give ourselves to the life of uh, uh, worship. Give yourself to the life of worship all the time. Worship God. Worship God. But let, there is this, uh, this I, I, I mentioned it in the, our uh, part one. That is uh, Psalm 22 and verse uh, 3. <laughs> it's very, very important. But thou art holy, O thou that inhabited the praises of Israel. That is it. Anytime we are praising God, anytime we are worshiping God, God Himself will come down. It's only like when we are praying, that is okay. Hey, hey you this angel, go and uh, answer that. But when you are praying, when you are praising and worshiping, God Himself will come down to come and take His praise. The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' mighty name. Let us not forget that we must live a life of holiness. That we, don't forget we are looking at uh, how to be a living sacrifice unto God. How to be a living sacrifice unto God. That we are. Let's look at, uh, we, we have looked at some part of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 12 before, but let now see, let's see how far we can go, although the, the time is uh, uh, well spent, uh, from verse, uh, Hebrews chapter, maybe I can just, let me just summarize it because of my time. Living a life of holiness. When you read the whole of Hebrews chapter 12, especially verse 14, he said uh, that since we must, uh, uh, with that holiness, no one can see God. Follow peace with all people. <laughs> and without this, uh, without this holiness, no one can see God. Because <laughs> it is a serial business. This holiness of a thing is a, is a serial business. And the Lord will give us even the grace to subject ourselves 
to the dictate of uh, holiness in Jesus Christ. You cannot be in sin. That, that's uh, Romans chapter 8. You cannot be in sin and expect the grace of God to abound. And uh, the Bible says that uh, God forbid. So that God will give us the grace to be holy unto him in Jesus' mighty name. Then, get ye out of there. What do I mean by that? Get ye out of there. <laughs> get, uh, let's look at Second. Uh, uh, Corinthians chapter uh, 6. Second Corinthians chapter 6. And let's see how far we can, can go there. Look at chapter 6. Then we look at uh, verse 14. Uh, Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. For what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness? And what communion has light with darkness? That's something that I, I pray that God will give us understanding in Jesus' mighty name. We need the understanding. We need the understanding of God. It is not, it is not everywhere we should be at the same time. It is not every food that we eat at the same time. It is not every conversation we, 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 we contribute to uh, uh, at, any, at any time. The Lord will give us grace even an understanding in Jesus' uh, mighty name. As I read off today, let's look at another, another important uh, scripture. That is, learn ye not the way of the heathen. Learn ye not the way of the heathen. Is, is, is a spectacular, is a, is a spectacular uh, uh, scripture. Learn ye not uh, the, the, way, the, the, the way of the heathen. Jeremiah, Let's look at the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah, chapter 10. Chapter 10 there, and verse 2. Thus say the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dis dismayed at them. Thus say the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the evils are dismayed uh, uh, them. <laughs> this is a fool for talk. That is, uh, any, any, as I, it is not all association that you must be. It was a free from all the appearances of evil. And I say, flee from all worldly association. Some people will say, if you cannot join them, you beat them. You are beat, you, you, you cannot beat them, you join them, rather. If you cannot, you, you cannot beat them, you join them. If you join them, you are, join, you are joining them to eternal destruction. God forbid, anyway. If you join them, if you, if you join them because you cannot beat them, then you are joining them at your own peril. If you cannot, if you cannot beat them, then the next thing is to flee. The next thing is to flee. If you cannot, if you cannot, uh, 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 I just want to be a monk. In the, in the part three and part four, and I pray that uh, God will give us understanding, even though to listen to this stage is a serious business. God specifically asked me to preach this title this month. I had another thing in mind before, but God said I go and preach this one. Uh, I know that some of us will see our own level. By the time we get to chapter uh, part 3 and part 4, and the Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name. If you cannot be there, uh, join them. You are joining them to, to, to hell. That will not be your situation in Jesus' mighty name. So the answer to that is that if you cannot be there, flee. Flee. Somebody asked me a question sometimes ago that... Um, uh, when you are on evangelism and uh, somebody is arguing with you, then at what level will you drop that, that argument? That when you are in evangelism, if you don't miss your purpose, you say you are evangelism and truly you are on evangelism. You are on evangelism and not on, on argument. The Lord has called us to win souls. The Lord has not called us to win argument. The moment you notice that your discussion is going to the point of uh, point of uh, argument, flee. 
Now that you, you just, just round off, just round off that discussion, may the Lord give you understanding. You will see that that one, <laughs> that, that phrase is an almost prevalent in my dream. The Lord will give you understanding. The Lord will give us wisdom. That is, that is that I have said my hope. It is God that can make you to understand it uh, better. That other that said, yeah, Jesus did not rise. Oh, yeah, Jesus rose. Hey, Jesus, what is your business? Eh? That is your business. Maybe at another time, if I have a time, I was a debate some times ago. Uh, somebody said, Jesus was the son of God. The other said, it's not the son of uh, God. And I said, I'm you, that has okay me. Somebody says that this is my father. And the father said, this is my son. For God said, what's your problem? <laughs> He's putting in the paternity of that person again. Jesus said that this is my father. <laughs> and the father said this is my beloved son. And somebody, somebody, some, somewhere, now saying that uh, uh, it's not the father. He didn't even give any back to father. I mean, that person has some things to be taken care of by the medical expert. The Lord will give us understanding in Jesus' mighty name. So don't forget, you have to sacrifice your top, you have to sacrifice your body, you have to sacrifice or your mindset, even your intellect unto God. And now we give us knowledge and understanding in Jesus' mighty name. It's another lot of ages. We leave our voices again this day. We say, blessed be your name. For the abundance of your world today, accept our praise in Jesus' mighty name. You have sent your world out. Father, back it up with power in Jesus' mighty name. Our God and our Father, the grace for your people to have an out of flesh to receive this world. Release unto them in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we bless your name, for we are prayed in Jesus' eternal name. Perhaps after uh, someone has heard this word, you want to make it try with God. Like I used to say, it is never too late. In as much as you are still living, it is not too late. Put your hand on your, your right hand on your, your chest and let us pray. My God and my Father, I come to you as a sinner. Forgive me all my sins. Forgive me all my sin. I know that my sins are very many. And you are, you are the only one that has the power to forgive sin. Father, forgive me all my sin. And make me one of your own today. Be grace for me to live my life as a living sacrifice. Answer, release upon me. Every power of the devil in my life before, be moved into law. Cover me with your blood and I shall live. In Jesus' name. Father, we bless only for the confession of faith of these people. And we pray that you help them even to uphold that confession that you have made today so that they will not go back to their vomit. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, we bless your name. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen.